well, they're off to a pretty good start, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, they could have easily won against Drake and, and had every opportunity to. And games are close. They, 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 I haven't watched the two games in which they, what, they score 115 and 105 or whatever in, in, in two, two, those two games. But, uh, you know, they played very similar to us, and, and uh, uh, they got some length to them. And all of them, uh, at least statistically, uh, uh, can shoot the basketball because uh, they all shoot threes. Some of them haven't shot a great percentage yet, but they all shoot them. So we're going to have to defend all five spots. So, Bill, about a quarter into the season, if you were scouting your own team, uh, what would be your evaluation? Uh, well, we do scout our own team, so so I think that's a fair question. Uh, I would say um, uh, pretty sound defensively. I would say uh, we we've been we've been decent, a decent rebounding team, not great, but 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 probably just about above average. Uh, I, I think that. Uh, uh, winning. Uh, the most important possessions. I think we've been pretty good at that. Um, I think offensively we're just inconsistent. And it's not so much from shooting the ball, it's just, it's just we don't get as many attempts as what I like because we turn it over too much. But, but I, I would say you, you eliminate passing, uh, uh, which is actually a pretty vital part of the game. Uh, I, I think that we've actually you know, been pretty good on both ends. Uh, uh, not great, but 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 pretty good, and, and I, I I think the one thing that remains to be seen is how we react in pressure situations because we've been in two, and one we didn't do very well, another we did very well, so we, we need to have some more of those. What's going to be the key for you guys uh, when you have those situations, numbers in transition? Uh, I, I've never seen anybody that's 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 as athletic and as talented as what our guys are screw up more two on ones and three on twos uh, it's unbelievable we, we'd be scoring six more points a game if, 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 if we were just pretty good at converting let alone being really good uh, uh, you know I, I think that I think there's a lot of things I think dot has to become a better law passer that's what we play to and we don't throw it uh, I think Ochai you know, needs to be uh, uh, attack the rim more and, and not be so much a passer in transition and be a finisher. And, and then I think, uh, uh, obviously, we put our bigs, how many times we throw the ball to our bigs in bad situations that hang them out to dry. I just think we got to understand the game a little bit better. But, I mean, I, you know, I, those are things that are correctable. But certainly early in the season, that would be something I would think we'd be better at than what we do. You mentioned rebounding. <clears throat> you weren't happy with your bigs the other night. Yeah, I, yeah. I, well, I mean, I don't think that we're a bad rebounding team, but I don't think they attack the ball. I don't, yeah. you know, the, the, the first basket they made in the game, we had three guys go after the ball, and one of them was kind of a half-ass effort, and happened to be a guy about seven foot that weighs about 260 pounds, <laughs> and he waited on the guard to get it. And so when the guard couldn't get it, it was a loose ball, and they ended up shooting the three and making it. Well, that's a, that's a ball that your big guy has to forget about the guard getting it. I, I, remember, I told our guys, I remember Thomas Robinson used to want to fight a guy that on a free throw miss if anybody else ever got the rebound. That was his way to pad his stats. And, and if, it, if a guard ever went in there and took his ball, no, he would be, I mean, visibly mad at them. We don't have, our big guys don't think like that. So, so I, I, I hope that we start doing that. That's the thing that we need to be doing as much as anything. Hey, what's your evaluation of Christian so far? Christian? Christian Brown, yeah. Uh, I think he's done fine. I don't think he's had as many opportunities uh, uh, pr as what I probably would have liked to have given him. Uh, I think he's been averaging about eight minutes a game, something like that, and that's not enough time to get comfortable. I think he's going to be a really good player. I, I, uh, I think that uh, the game's a lot faster than what uh, it was for him in high school, obviously. He'd be the first to tell you that. But the thing that he can really do is shoot. And he hadn't gotten very many open looks, and he hadn't probably played to that strength as much. And the other thing is, he, he, he's uh, he's great at getting loose balls. Not good, great. And he hasn't been as active doing that, too, because I think he's just trying to not screw up. So I'm pleased with him. I think he's going to be a really good player. But but my evaluation is, is incomplete, because I haven't given him as many opportunities as what he probably deserves.
you've described this team as tough. <clears throat> Which at is times, kind of yeah, early I, for yeah. you. Well, at times, comes in January. Yeah, I, I, I thought we were tough in, in Maui and tough against Dayton. And tough doesn't necessarily mean playing. Tough is you know you play thirty seven and thirty five, and then twenty hours later you play forty five. To me, that's that's pretty pretty tough. And 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 and, and then being mentally tough enough to finish the game. So I, I think we've done some things to show that we are. But but you know toughness is is a uh, you know Frank and Devonte. Toughness is when you're down three or four minutes left and they think, okay, now it's going to get fun. I don't know that we have that mindset quite yet, but I, I do think physically uh, and, and everything, I, I think I think we do enjoy uh, uh, not allowing other people to play well. So so that that's a, definitely a form of it. Tad said this the other day, and, and a lot of coaches you face are, are the same way. They're so impressed by, by your consistency as a program leader and, and under you. This is the last game of the decade. Allen Fieldhouse for you guys. I just don't I'm know. I'm going to be I emotional. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, no, I know you're not, but do you, do you, I mean, when you look back and you think about that, is that, is that the one thing that jumps out, just consistency or? or? Uh, over the, over the, over time? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, but that's one thing that, that uh, I think that, that uh, our programs and teams, wherever we've been, that's one thing we've taken pride in for a long time. It's, it's uh, uh, I think there's some things that you could really improve on. You know, there's a, there's a lot of teams that can do this. And then if you peak at the right time, you can still win it all. And there's a lot of teams that just kind of do this. And if you peak at the right time, you still have a shot. I think we've been more one of these teams. And, and, and uh, uh, but I think sometimes when you have teams that spike, those teams that, that, that show that they can play at this level, this is their ceiling. And sometimes when teams are just consistently good, the ceiling isn't sometimes where other teams can spike to. And so I, I think we get kind of, if that makes any sense at all, I think we get kind of caught with a bum rap sometimes that we, we, we haven't we maybe underachieved in some certain area. I don't, I don't think that's happened a lot. I think it has happened some, ever it happens to everybody. But I, I think it's because we've been pretty consistent that people expect us to, to play at the highest level when, when, when basically over the course of time, we pretty much have played at our highest level for the most part. So, uh, uh, and it's not always true. We gotta, we gotta obviously get better in the NCAA tournament and, 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 and have more deep runs, even though we've had a lot, but have more deep runs. But, but uh, I am proud of the consistency factor. And I think there's certain things that go into that. And, and it's that way with many programs across America. I think this is the 158th game here of the decade. Any idea what your record is? Any guess? I uh, have. Well, we've had a decent run. Uh, uh, we couldn't have lost more than five, have we? 150 and seven. Well, we have lost more than five. <laughs> so, <laughs> so 150 and seven yeah. in this decade. Yeah. So, so pretty well, good. That's yeah, not. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> now, there's a lot of things that go into that, though. Good players and pretty good atmosphere. That helps, too. Yeah. So, is Silvio on an uptick? Uh, uh, I thought he did fine the other day, but he hadn't had a chance to play enough to really probably, probably gather momentum yet. But he, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Is, is he more patient than most players would be with kind of just dealing with this? He's kind of uh, waiting for a chance to take off? Uh, yeah, if he says so. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I really hadn't talked to him. I don't. I never think that any good players are patient. I, I've always thought all the best players are always impatient because they want it to happen uh, uh, yesterday, let alone tomorrow. And, and uh, but I think he's been patient with all the crap he's had to go through. But I don't. I don't think he's unbelievably patient. Just waiting his time because he's, he's not happy where he is right now. And if he was happy, then we wouldn't be very happy. So. Coach, you've asked the question for the teams that if there's like one possession left, you need a stop or a score, which one would you rather have? Where do you think this team would fall? Uh, right now, I would say, I, I, I would say uh, I'd rather be up one and they have the ball than probably down one and we have the ball right now. But the good teams are ones that can handle both. And, and uh, like some of, the, some of the best teams we had, it wouldn't have made us much difference either way. I don't know that our execution uh, late game, and, and then our ability uh, to make shots when we don't run offense, I, th I think is still a big key. Like who can just break a guy down and go make a basket? So, so there's some things that we gotta definitely get better at. All right, coach. Okay, guys. Thanks. Thanks.